Hi, I'm Paul, and I'd like to show you some of the new test features we've been developing at WorkOS. It's really important to be able to test an integration, especially when you're just starting out and want to have a proof of concept that works end to end. This is especially true for important components like auth. We built something new that is really going to help you get that confidence that your app works and is right for production. So let's dive right in. I'm going to show you the, this is the work OS dashboard. Now, normally if you wanted to test SSO, what you would need to do is set up for your organization, a single sign on provider. This is an identity provider that will provide the, uh, the whole login flow. Now, what this usually will require is you actually signing up for one of these third party identity providers like Okta here and providing all sorts of provider details that you need to be able to make this work end to end. Now, this isn't particularly difficult, but it is a little tedious if you're trying to just get something up and running as fast as possible. So as you might have noticed in the bottom left hand corner here, we have something new called test SSO. This is a special test suite so you can test your integration without having to sign up for any third party providers. There's a couple of different test scenarios that I want to show you here. All of them work in either using AuthKit or using Ashenland SSO. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to be using AuthKit. But before we dive in, I just want to show what this looks like in the code. So I have here a very simple Next.js application. And all you need to really know is that I have this get authorization URL call, which is happens when you click on a button that says sign in. And all I'm really doing here is calling the work OS node SDK to get this authorization URL. I'm saying that the provider is going to be off kit. I have this client ID, which is being set in my environmental variables. And I have a redirect URI, which is also set in environmental variables. So what I'm going to start off with is server provided initiated SSO. What this basically means if someone goes to your app or website, clicks the sign in button and is redirected to the test identity provider or the regular identity provider. So to give you an idea what this looks like, here's that example app that I have. I'm going to click this sign in with OffKit, which is going to redirect me to the OffKit landing page. This is our login box. And all I have to do here is add is type in any email address that ends in example.com. So if I click continue, this is going to redirect me to our test identity provider, as you can see. Now I've logged in with this user before, which is why it's filled out my name already. I can add more th data here, like the group or some custom attributes, but we're gonna leave that for now. I'm just gonna click continue. This is gonna sign me in, and here we go. I have now signed in back in my application in my callback URL. I can click view account here, which just shows me some of the information that I got back from the WorkOS API. So let me sign out. That's single provider initiated SSO. Next up, we're going to do identity provider initiated. So this is a route that not many people know they have to test. But essentially what this means is that rather than originating from your app, users might go to your identity provider and click on one of the tiles there to get to your app. So if you've ever used Okta before, you'll be recognized this. So in order to test this, this is hard to do if you only have a local app. So we built this to be able to help with that. So if I click this button here, continue, this will send us directly to the test identity provider. I'm going to type an email address in here. We'll just say foo at example.com. This name is name's Bob test person. And we're not going to add anything else here. We'll just click continue. And there, this just signed me in. This signed in Bob, who was a, a new user. Let's click on his account. And you can see here we have him signed in, which is great. Next is the guest email domain. This is testing if someone is, uh, is going to log into your application, but not necessarily shares a domain of it, so like a guest account. So it's already filled in using the email address that I provided in my worker OS profile. So I'm going to click continue. And this is again going to send me back here. We've seen before. It's already auto filled my name and my email address. I'll just click continue. This is going to send me to this verification page where I have to type in a code that was sent to my email address. So I'll just copy paste it in here. And this will redirect me back to my app. Let me sign out. And then finally, what I want to show off is the error response. So if someone tries to log in but fails for some reason, we want to test that as well. So I can just quickly click continue here. This will return me to this error page. I'll click continue, and this will take me back to the hosted auth kit, which says there was an issue authenticating. Now you don't have to go for the dashboard to test the error state. What I can do is if I go back to my example, click here, sign in with OffKit. I'll say poll at example.com, click continue. 
And from this test identity provider, I can actually switch to this return the error tab and do the exact same thing as before. So I'll click continue. And this is going to now return the error and it's going to show up here. So those are some of the test features that we just developed. I think this is going to be hugely beneficial for anyone who's trying out AuthKit and trying out workouts for, for the first time. But let us know what you think about this, if you liked it, if you think it's meaningful, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.